All right, so I'm going to give you just a quick little bit of instructions for the project in which you would make an aluminum figure. So what you're going to basically be doing is going around your house and finding four objects with your parents' permission um, that you can use um, for this little project, and um, they should be different sizes and shapes if possible, okay? Um, you're going to calculate how much you're, you're going to use those different um, 3D figures to put together to make some kind of a figure, okay? Like a person-like figure or an animal. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then you're going to figure out, if you were to cover this figure with aluminum foil, how much surface area would be covered by the aluminum foil and therefore how many square centimeters you would need of, of foil to cover it. If you want to use inches as your measurement, that's okay. Just make sure you stay consistent. If you're going to start with inches, you have to finish with inches so that all your calculations are nice and organized and consistent. So um, I'm just going to go through a couple of things um, with you so you kind of get an idea of what you're going to be doing. So you're going to pick at least four items that have to be used in your figure. Um, I'm not going to take the time to go through four different ones here on my example. I'm just going to go through a couple of them just to give you an idea. So one of the things that I found in my house that I thought would make like a good body for the figure was just this little rectangular prism that I found. And so what you're going to want to do is decide, okay, well, what, um, what parts of it are going to be covered by foil? So if I were doing this, I was going to use this as the main body, and I was going to cover all six of the faces with aluminum foil. So I would figure out the area of this front panel, which is identical to the area of the back, and figure out the area of the bottom, which is exactly the same as the area of the top, and then figure out the area of a side. And that's gonna be exactly the same area as the other side. And then just, you know, record all those calculations in your directions page um, on those charts. And then all six faces would be covered. So I would just keep track of that so that I, I knew when I find my total surface area of the figure that those six faces for its main body would be accounted for, okay? Um, then I found this like cylinder. And I was thinking about actually using this as the head, okay? Now, a cylinder is not one of the figures that we've worked with in class, but I did give you some information through the links in the directions to kind of help you figure out area um, of a circle, for example, that you're not super familiar with. It's easy to calculate. You'll just have to look at the examples that I shared with you. Um, and then, it might, you know, when you're dealing with a cylinder, if you were to unwrap this middle part, try it with a soup can label, you'll see that it makes a rectangle in the middle. And so um, I've explained how to do that if you do a circle. So let's say I wanted to cover the top with foil and this middle part with foil. I would calculate the area of a circle, which I have right here because it has a circular part to it. And this lateral face is a rectangle. So I figured out the area of that. And I wasn't going to cover the bottom of mine with foil because I'm going to attach it right here and it wouldn't even make sense to do that. And so, and you would do that with two other body parts for your figure and decide which of the faces that you would use um, foil on to cover it up and figure out how you were going to attach it. And then just to practice the volume component of this chapter, um, pick one of the pieces of your figure and calculate the volume, okay? So um, I calculated the volume of this right here, length times width times height, and that just tells me how many cubic centimeters this particular part of my aluminum figure um, has for capacity, okay? Um, if you wanted to find the volume of one that's not a rectangular prism, that's totally fine. I have all the directions for how to do that in the links. Um, you would just figure out the area of the circular base, which you would have already had, and then multiply it by the height of the cylinder. And that'll give you the volume of the cylinder, which is also pretty easy to do. Um, and then, of course, once you're done with all your calculations and you're recording all of that, you can get your foil. And then, um, you know, try to use as you know little foil as possible as you can so that it matches your calculations for how much foil you should have used. Um, it'll probably just go over a little bit and that's fine. You don't have to cut it out to perfection, but it's just a fun way to see how much foil that you would have used. And I want you to take a picture of yourself with your aluminum figure um, and upload that to the Google Classroom when you're finished. And then um, a couple people mentioned that they um, didn't have enough foil in their house to do that, but they thought instead they wanted to use paint. 
that's fine. You're still calculating um, the surface area that would be covered by paint. And so um, you're welcome to do that as well if you'd rather paint it versus cover it in foil. You, you know, either one is fine with me. The important part is that you're showing how to get all your calculations and you're recording all of that and practicing the concepts from this chapter. If you have any questions at all, please reach out and I'm happy to help you with it. All right, have fun.